Scoot and Sharp for the backcourt set. Robert Williams out there with DeAndre Ayton. And it's Avdia in at the three. That's the group in the game for the Trailblazers. To the middle. And he tabs it home with authority. Well, he's a bit of an undersized center. However, his leaping ability can certainly mask that. And so Henderson will bring it up for the Portland Trailblazers. They'll be playing host to New Orleans for their next one. It'll be the second of three straight games on their home floor. Tipped. They recover it. And down it goes. Two points. This has been a close game in a lot of ways. But they do have an edge on the boards. Outside. Green. to Curry Green with a screen on Henderson five to shoot Curry from deep three-point land offline with a three Portland leading Henderson the pass to Avdia excellent D there from Wiggins that's their plan to get him an opportunity to finish in tight that's a miss they can live with. And it's healed that time on the assist by Green. Green's got eight assists in the game. And I like whenever Hill attacks inside like this, exploiting the defense when they give him these chances. Portland has got nothing to fall from outside the arc here in the fourth. 0 for 4. It's sharp on the wing. Pass to Aiden. Just five to shoot. Back to Sharp. And he can't get that one. Healed with the defensive effort. Golden State has gone three of six from downtown so far in the fourth. That one is cash from Wiggins. They're really employing a deep-range initiative here in the fourth, and it's working. Yeah, it's always a little risky to lean this hard on the three-point shot, but when you're knocking him down, you might as well keep riding. The finish! Oh, Williams with the block. Showing off his talent for a racing shot. Williams had that one totally anticipated. Man, we have to take another look at that block. Yeah, obviously he had the shot well anticipated, able to shut it down with authority. Outside, green. To the inside, Jackson Davis. And slammed it home, and a foul! A chance at another point at the line. It's going to be on DeAndre Ayton. And now we'll get a perspective here on how the hustle game has been going for the Warriors. Well, they've shown just outstanding effort defensively, and it's resulted in several forced turnovers. You also can't ignore the good job they've done rebounding on the offensive end tonight. That hustle has been well rewarded with second-chance points. The Grant, despite the Warriors' success over the last decade, it hasn't always been this way for this franchise. Yeah, they didn't have many winning seasons before they got Steph, Clay, and Dre. And you know, B.A., from 1978 to 2012, they made the playoffs just six times. And Chauncey Billups calls timeout. He's looking to make some very important adjustments here.
And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Guys, over the last break, I listened to Chauncey Billups address the team. They were encouraging their team to run, look for breaks. Coach wants to see them getting into transition more. Back to you, Brian. Okay, thank you, Allie. Blazers trail by seven. Now Henderson. It's sharp on the wing. Inside. It's tipped. Curry against Henderson. Obdia pulls it in. Obdia's got six rebounds now in the game. Outside sharp. Henderson, the pass to Aiden. Will it go? And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. They're doing some good work at the line this half. Shoot two. That one's off. Well, Aiden is a very skilled player, and he has the physical tools. You just want to see him put it all together consistently. We got this. We got this. And he's good on the second. The Warriors lead by six. Outside, green. And few players can be that accurate with a pass from that distance. And then that authoritative with the finish. That is true. And it's Henderson with the ball for the Trailblazers. Out to the right wing. Pass to Avdia. Williams with the screen. Down low. Five on the clock. Robert Williams. One tough customer right there. Superb focus on that basket. Williams not letting the contact throw him off. Golden State has gotten four of seven three-pointers to fall in the fourth. Outside. Green. Misses the three. Blazers trail by six. Pass to Aiden. Curry against Henderson. Outside sharp. Aiden, a screen on heel. Sharp against heel. Gets stolen by heel. In transition, here come the Warriors. A prolific score dating back to his college days. Heel just understands how to generate points. throws good and that makes it a seven point lead when you talk about the best shooters in the NBA Buddy Hield has to be in the conversation and he hits both free throws here and it's an eight point ball game so it's Portland now A minute 31 left in the final quarter. And Aiden gets it to go. Well, on certain nights, when Aiden has the right matchup, he can go to work on you. How about the unselfishness of this team? <laughs> yeah, the willingness to make the next pass has this defense scrambling. And again, no good by Golden State. Portland has got nothing to fall from outside the arc here in the fourth. 0 for 4. And these are exactly the moments where you find out if a player is tough enough for the NBA. And Sharp showing no fear in a clutch situation. The 
Warriors lead by four. Curry surveys. Pass to Jackson Davis. Here's Green. Oh, Green! Flexing on him with the strong finish. An experienced and confident player. How about Green being the one to bury the big time shot? There's 57 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. And Chauncey Billups calls timeout. Critical moment here. He's not taken any chances. Here's Henderson. Money! Key points from Henderson. Stepping up. Scoop, young man. Scoop. And so it's Curry with it. He brings it up for Golden State. Outside, Green. It's Wiggins on the wing. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. Really feels like they're in control. They've got a big lead with time dwindling. Yeah, and at this point, the focus is take care of the ball, no needless fouls, and no threes. Here's Henderson. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Trace Jackson Davis picks one up. You have to love how Scoot Henderson plays beyond his size. I mean, using the quickness and agility to get the better of bigger players. I mean, that's impressive for a young guy to be doing. Shooting two. Oh, he doesn't hit the first. That was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. Well, Scoot has all the physical attributes. He has the fearless mentality. But like most young players, he just needs some time to develop and adapt to the NBA game. And he's able to hit the second one. And that trims the lead to six. And that's a situation where you must make them all to get back into the game. And that's an intentional foul. He drops the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Gets them both, and it's an eight-point ball game. There's 31 seconds left to play in the fourth. Aiden, a screen on Curry. Henderson for three. 
Rebounded by Green. A score here would build the lead to double digits. Yeah, they seem very much in control. Up top, Curry. Defended by Henderson. And so it's Golden State winning this one. Exceptional effort on the road. They were ready and they were focused. Focused indeed. I mean, it takes a strong mental approach to block out the distractions. These guys stepped up 100%. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Draymond, you were stacking the assists. How much do you take it on yourself to be a playmaker for this team? Oh, uh, I play with a lot of great players. I just try to find them in the spots that they like the ball. Uh, you know, guys really shooting the ball well. You know, I've been a playmaker on this team for some years now. That's my job, so just try to get them the ball in spots on the floor that they like. You always bring it on both ends. Thanks, Draymond. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. And that'll do it for this inaugural game of the NBA season. For Stan Van Gundy, Grant Hill, and Ali LaForce, I'm Brian Anderson, thanking you for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.